What's up guys, it's Dr. GTA coming back to you with the GTA 5 PC mod tutorial today on how to get all your mods working for single player and only single player working so you can actually load them in your game without uh, replacing resources like the actual files that are in your root directory. This is a simple little video and it works with OpenIV so if you install any car mods or textures or anything this video is for you and it will help you so you prevent uh, failure for backing up your files and it'll keep your game running good if you ever have any problems you only have to do two little simple things and it takes a second to get your game running if you fail so hit like and subscribe because we're about to show you how to do that first off you're going to need to navigate to the link in the description and download open iv if you do not have it once you have open iv open all you're going to do is um load it up and i'm going to show you actually how everything works um, and you also need to go to your GTA 5 root directory and you need to make a mods folder like this one right here which is mods. You just right click, go to new, make a new folder, call it mods. That folder is going to be what we're going to put all of our modded RPFs in. And if you're familiar with GTA modding, you have to put everything in these RPFs you see here. Um, and some things go in common. It just depends on what you're doing. Some things go in update folder with x64 with DLC packs and some of them go into the update RPF and all that stuff but um, basically whatever mod you're installing whatever folder it needs what specific RPF you need to actually put that RPF in the mods folder and link the address back how it would be in the root so say if we need to replace something in the update RPF we actually need to place the update RPF copy it and then put it in the actual mods folder right here but we also need to put it in an update folder so like um, basically just how it would be if your mods folder was the GTA 5 folder is how you're gonna set it up and you can see I have x64e already in here and I have update folder with x64 in here and if you go back to the root you can see I have an update folder with x64 and it goes right to where I'm going with your DLC packs and if you go back to my mods folder you can see it's set up the same way DLC packs like that because I modify these RPFs. Um, now that's pretty much how you install things. Now you just have to install your mods that way and um, make sure you copy these, whatever folder, copy whatever RPF you're using and put it into the mods folder before you load OpenIV. So when you load OpenIV up, it actually shows this little green folder, this blue folder right here. Sorry, I'm colorblind. And you can go into it and it shows your modded file. So you can always just hit this and it'll go directly into it. Another thing you can do is go to tools, options, and you can always set default work mode to edit and you can set it to GT5 Windows and DDS because DDS is probably the best to import your textures and you hit close and it saves it, but you have to exit and reload OpenIV for those changes to take place. This is just so you don't have to hit edit mode every time. And then from there, you just go into your mod RPFs and you edit those and then you can run the game right here on the run or control F9 runs it and you can test it. If it doesn't work, um, the only thing that you probably need to do now is go to tools, ASI manager, and make sure you have it. Make sure the game says that the ASI is installed and make sure it says the OpenIV ASI is installed. And if they're green, that means they're good. If they're red, they're not. And usually the OpenIV will tell you when you load it up if you don't have these installed. And what, what it does is it installs these files to the root of your GTA 5 folder, which you can see I have them right here. OpenIV ASI, that's what it installs. And then it also installs the DN put right here. And those are the two files it installs. And you need those to load your mods into single player. And if you don't have those, you cannot load your mods from the mods folder. It'll just load all the default RPFs here. It'll only load this mods folder if you have the input and OpenIV ASI in there. Now with that said, have fun modding. And if you have any problems and you just want to revert back to just actually using your single player or whatever you're trying to play on your game without using mods, all you have to do is hit uninstall on the OpenIV right here and it'll just do that and then you're done and you load your game it'll load only the default ones if you want to reload it again hit install and it connects it it's like running skeleton or something i don't know yeah that's it thanks for watching guys hope this helped you if you did leave a like and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and see you later